Hello friends it's IT Noyan from technotechforyou.com Today I am going to discuss about CDMA Cellular Radio Network At first we see the outlook of my presentation CDMA Cellular Radio Network Firstly we discuss about what is Cellular Radio Network Secondly Code Division Multiple Access Third architecture of CDMA fourth how CDMA works fifth uses advantage and disadvantage and sixthly at last I discuss about the conclusion of my presentation first cellular radio network that means what is cellular radio network cellular radio network distributed over land through cells where each cells include a fixed location transceiver known as base station these cells together provide radio coverage over large geographical areas here we see a graphical representation of cellular radio network here these cells are connected and the connected cells are create a large radio network this is cellular radio network now i discuss about cdma cdma means code division multiple access cdma is a third generation mobile system communication standard where multiple users are connected to the base station with the same radio channel. In CDMA, different users allocated different code for transmission over the same radio channel. Technology in radio communication system where number of signals occupy a single transmission channel. Now we see the architecture of CDMA. Here I see the graphical representation of CDMA architecture. First, mobile station. Mobile station included SIM and ME. In our next slide, we discuss what is SIM and what is ME. In the second portion, BSS base station subsystem in base station subsystem included bts bsc bsc in the third portion ns network subsystem atlas pstn isdn now we discuss about the architectural equipment of cdma mobile station ms there are two blocks one is mobile equipment second subscriber identity module that is called sim secondly function of mobile station that means what is the function of me and what is the function of sim sim personal mobility imei international mobile equipment identity IMSI International Mobile Subscriber Identity. Now the second portion is base station subsystem that means BSS. In BSS they are include BTS that means base transceiver station. Its activity is it defines the cell, it handles the radio link protocol with the mobile station. BSS include base station controller that means BSC it manages radio resource for on or more BTS allocated and deallocated of channels transmitter power control and hand up control here we see a graphical representation of BSS architecture of CDMS last portion that means 
the bsc are connected to the msc the network subsystem here msc means mobile switching center aclrs means home location register blr means digital location register auc means authentication center eir means equipment identity register now we see how cdma works cdma is a technology for multiple access it means multiple user connect to the tower with the same radio channel in cdma different user are allocated different code for transmission over the radio channel in the graphical representation we see some user are connected to the tower with common radio channel through this example in our next slide i discuss how two user are connected and communicate with each other consider two user with two codes suppose my first user is user 0 and second user is user 1 and the symbol of user 0 is a not and the symbol of user on is a on in code division multiplace suppose i define the code for user 0 is on 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 and i define the code for user on is c on that is on minus on minus on on Now multiple symbol of each user with respective code that means a not multiply c not equal to a not cross the value of c not is on 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 when I multiply with a not cross c, c not that the result is a not a not a not a not similarly i multiply a on multiply c on equal to a on cross the value of c on is on minus on minus on on equal to a on minus a on minus a on a on Now we are generate the combined signal at the base station. The combined signal is A0 multiply C0 plus A1 multiply C1. The combined signal of two user is A0 plus A1, A0 minus A1, A0 minus A1, A0 plus A1. The combined signal is transmitted over the same radio channel. So this is my two user combined signal. From this sum signal each user has to extract his corresponding signal. User 0 correlated with C0 that is multiplies elements by elements and sum we know c not equal to on 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 now we multiply the combined signal with this code that means on cross a not plus a on and so on now through the calculation we get for a zero this is the symbol of user 0. Similarly, for user 1, the symbol is for a1. Performing this correlation, user are able to extract symbol from his common signal that has been transmitted over the common radio channel. Now, we discuss about the advantage of CDMA. A spread spectrum. Soft and softer handoff rec receiver variable rate decoder high quality voice and power control simple network planning 
green handset and coverage smooth migration to 3g and the operations benefit is protected at the most now we discuss about the disadvantage of cdma near far problems cdma is relatively low and the network is not as mature as gsm gsm means global system for mobile communication cdma cannot offer international roaming as large gsm advantage in the calculation the cdma will allow many signal to the transmitted as the same radio channel at the same time cdma cellular system is deemed superior to the fdma and tdma fdma means frequency division multiple access and tdma means time division multiple access cdma in cellular communication system for the time being therefore cdma techniques become more important in radio signal communication cdma is based on the spread spectrum technique which has been used at military field thanks if you have any question related about cdma please comment here for more videos please subscribe my channel technotechforyou.com thanks